getting back from the Pigeon Forge Rod Run. And uh, if you've not seen those videos, you've not seen the Dirty Dozen, check that out. Uh, I'm very proud of how all that went down. It was so cool. Um, again, thanks so much to everybody that was involved in that. But in the video on the way back, I mentioned that I was going to establish a tip jar and that I'd make a video on, uh, you know, my thought process behind it. And uh, so that's what we got going on here today. Through the hacking, um, I had an outpour of support that was just unbelievable. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I know I get told that, you know, y'all like the channel and this, that, and the other thing. But, you know, I don't take any of that. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I appreciate it. Don't get me wrong. And as much as I want to believe it, I don't know whether to believe it or not. You know, it's, I'm 47, so, you know, um, this ain't my first rodeo. And uh, anyways, but through the hacking, yeah, it became evident that there's a lot of people out there that really, really appreciate what I do. And they want to make sure that it keeps going. And, um, you know, even if it wasn't for the hacking, you know, you, you know, getting a whole month's revenue stolen from me, um, they still would be interested in, in helping and trying to, uh, you know, make it a better channel, give me a little more revenue, give me a better budget um, so we can do bigger and cooler things, you know. And um, so that's the deal. Uh, you know, I've also had a lot of my friends come to me and, and not just friends, subscribers come to me and they realize how I get paid. They realize that the ads, you know, watching the ads is, is part of the deal and uh, to, to helping this thing go. But man, some of those ads are two and a half minutes long. You know what I'm saying? They're longer than the video I posted in. They're busy. They don't have time to watch the ads. And, you know, I mean, I tell them, look, guys, if you're not interested in the product, don't watch it. Skip the ad. Go on. Don't, you know what I'm saying? I mean, that's, I appreciate your interest. I appreciate your support. So, you know, if you don't have time for that, I understand. And uh, so this is an opportunity to, you know, if you, if you don't like watching the ads and you feel kind of guilty about that, yeah, you know, throw a couple bucks in the tip jar. And in no way is it any kind of move towards a subscription-based channel or anything like that. Um, you gotta know. I wish I, I mean, I wish that this, I wish I didn't have to make this video. I wish I didn't have to worry about the money. You know, I mean, up until this point, to be honest with you, I didn't. Anybody that knows me knows that I've said as long as I got enough money in my pocket to make the next show, we're gonna shoot some more videos. You know, and I mean, you know, I got people around me now that this thing has grown to where, you know, I've gotta make commitments a year out, you know, um, in November of 2013 I was already committed to 17 shows in 2014 and you know um yeah I, I do that on faith you know I'm not concerned I don't think I, uh, tip jars will flop I'll still be all right I got you know I got the Lord on my side so um but you know if you if if you want to help you know I mean it would be nice to to know that um you know the, that Google money wasn't the only money that was there you know something happened to that or you know, we wanted to, uh, you know, do something larger than what that budget would afford. That, uh, you know, there's money available to do that. And, you know, <clears throat> know that uh, I'm not taking any vacations to Tahiti. You know, I'd like to one day, but, you know, we're not doing that now. And uh, every every penny I make, every penny I can spare goes right back into making cool videos, doing the stuff that I think y'all are going to enjoy. So, again, that's what it is. You know, I mean, you know, depending on how big it gets, you know, I get, I get grandiose ideas out there. It's had Somebody the other day suggested to me, oh, these builders ought to get together and build you a cool hot rod. You know, well, I mean, there's a process to that, guys. You know what I'm saying? You can't just start out by, you know, your birthday party. They're going to make you one. I mean, that's a cool idea. That's how it happens in the movies, but that ain't how it really goes down, you know? And I think that I could get some help in building something like that and, you know, maybe tour it for a year. Maybe, you know, I'm all about giving back. You know, I'm all about trying to help where I can. So, um, you know, maybe auction it off for charity or something. I don't know. But, you know, know that that's what the purpose of this tip jar is. It's not to make me rich so I can retire. If I had all the money in the world, I'd be doing what I'm doing right now, except for I wouldn't be making a video about a tip jar. I'd be shooting you a cool hot rod somewhere. So, you know, that's what it is. Feel free to ask questions, make comments, let me know what you think. If everybody thinks it's a bad idea, please understand it's not out of greed. It's not out of selfishness. If y'all think that in any way, I'll pull it down and we'll be done with it. Like I said, I didn't, I, I fought this for the longest time. Um, but, you know, it's tax time in, in the United States, and my accountants made it very clear to me that, you know, Scotty, the way you've been running this is not going to continue to work that way. You know, you just, you, you're going to have financial responsibilities, tax responsibilities that, you know, you can't show short. You can't show up short on. You're going to have to have that money. And that's, you know, I planned for that. But when you get, when you get side, blindsided, then... There's no way to plan for that, and there's only one place money can come from, and that's just where, where you got it, your reserves. My reserves are my reserves, you know, for everything. 
for a chicken sandwich, for paying my car insurance, whatever it takes. You know, that's what that money's there for is to, to make sure that we can make the next show. So, again, that's what it's about. Um, I'm, yes, you can tell I'm uncomfortable talking about it. It's there. It's over on the website, scottydtv.com. Um, you'll see it. There's a tip jar. You do it through PayPal. And um, if you're so, you know, if you're so moved to do something like that, please feel free to. If you're not, then don't feel guilty because you can't. Don't, I mean, this isn't about that. So, again, thanks so much for your support. That's kind of what, uh, kind of what's new over here at uh, Scotty D TV uh, with the hacking thing. Nothing's changed. FBI, I uh, filed a report on their website. Um, whenever, when it went down, I've never heard anything. I didn't get a form letter from them or nothing. I didn't get a quick email form letter that says we got your report. Or your, you know your complaint. We'll look into it. Nothing. So, um, still, I no, I'm not going to get my money back, you know, not from, not from them. And, um, I'd just be at this point, I'd be happy as I could be if I could just find somebody I thought cared that it happened. At this point, um, there's not even anybody that cares that, uh, that somebody took my money. And until I get that, this month's money in my, uh, bank account, I'm not going to feel comfortable that, uh, you know, that it's all over, that it's behind me, um. So, anyways, that's what this video is about. Rolling in over here at Uncle Rod, seeing what's going on, kind of getting the feedback from the show this weekend. I think they're real happy with it. So, hope y'all are having a great week. See you.